Okay, if we're first going to look at the text example. All these examples will make sense in the end. Technically, what I'm showing you is real small examples so you can build a real big idea later on. And you can look back on each one of these examples and say, oh yeah, I know how he did that. And then I can do this with this. So the text example. And we're going to have two different variations of this. So I'm going to make a, a box with the text tool and fill this with placeholder text. And I'm going to do the same down here. So I can use this and hold Alt, click and drag, and it'll allow me to have two boxes. These words are really small, and I'm going to increase the size quite a bit just so you can see them on the video. There we go. There we go. Okay, so the boxes say the same thing. Well, what I want to do is take one of these words, even though they don't mean anything, I want to take one of these words and explain it over on the other side. Take this for example. Command C. I'm going to make this is just place holder text. It has no meaning. Okay. So I'm just going to put that, line it up over here, and then make a copy of that one and put it down here. Good. Now, um, I need a button. So I'm going to create one using the rectangle tool and put it right over the top of the datum. Okay, and I'm going to make this button a little decorative. I'm going to take it and make it a dashed and change its point to 0.25. Okay, something real small. And I can see this by going into here, preview mode. You can see now there's a little tiny button over the word vidatium. And if I use Alt, wheel mouse, I can wheel in and make this just a little bit bigger so it encompasses the word. I'm going to copy this. Alt again. Click and drag. And there we go. Alright, now, there's two technical ways to do this. The first one is called change of state. So, to do this, I go into interactive and go to object states. I'm going to create this as an object state. I do that by clicking this button. State 1 and state 2. State 1, I want it so there's no words. So I highlight state 1 and delete all words. Go back to the black arrow. Now you can see state 1 is blank. State 2 has words. Okay. For the button, that's not really a button yet, but under a window, interactive buttons, it'll bring up this menu right here. And I'm going to say, for this button, I need to convert it first. I want to go on rollover and add an action. Notice that there are several actions in here, but then it gets broken up to SWF only. So this one is SWF only. We're going to go, go to state. And it'll say multi-state one. That's the name of this thing right here. If I click on it, you'll see that in the interactive state, where is that at? Interactive object states. Notice that it's called multi-state one. Okay. Go back to the button. So multi-state one 
if I roll over this, I want to change it to state 2. If I not roll over it, I want to go back and roll off. That will make it so the place text disappears and reappears. You can preview this by hitting this little button down here. Okay, here's the preview. If I mouse over it, notice Vitaeum in its definition appears. Okay, well, <coughs> what we have to do now is make one that is uh, PDF friendly. Okay, that's how we do this one is a little bit different. This time I'm going to use the rectangle tool, make a box, and in swatches, I'm going to fill this with paper. Again, swatches located in here. Okay, just hunt around for it. It's good for you. I'm going to turn this to zero point. So technically, it's hiding the tam underneath it. And I'm going to convert this big white box to a button. We'll call this cover the tam. Okay, good. Now, for this button, we're going to make a new action. So convert it to a button, add an action, and say show and hide buttons. Well, when I mouse over this, on rollover, I want to add a new action. Let's get rid of this one. So on rollover, add an action, show and hide button. And I want, when I roll over this, to have this button disappear. There's three states. There's hide, show, and ignore. In this case, I want to hide it. And on roll off, I want to take show and hide and make it visible good two more things I'm going to type, type in SWF example. Hold Alt, click and drag. And label this PDF example. Okay. Maybe I'll drag these down just a skosh so they look better. There we go. Notice when I preview this. This one works. This one oh, works. Good. Well, there we go. So they both work. All right. In the next video, what I want to do is show you how to export this over to the Internet and show you how to make an interactive PDF.